In this tutorial I'll show you how to make this chessboard using the array modifier and a computer generated marble texture. I'm going to go to the file menu and load factory settings so that all the settings are at their default values. Obviously you don't have to do that. I'm going to go to the properties of the cube. I'm going to set the Z scale to be 0.25 and enter. I'm going to the material properties. There is a default material called material. I'm going to rename that black. The first square is going to be a black square. And I'm going to change the diffuse color. I'm going to change all the values, the RGB values, the red, green, blue values to 0.2. I'm going to click the texture button. I'm going to rename the default texture black. I'm going to change the type of the texture to marble. I'm going to display the texture material both. I'm going to scroll down and we have a panel here, marble panel, for the settings of the marble. If I go to sharp, the purple area increases. If I go to sharper, it increases again. If I change the purple color to black, we get large black area with a vein of the diffuse color. I'm going to duplicate the square, Shift and D, and Enter. I'm going to go to the properties of the new square and rename it white. And I'm going to set the Y value to be two blender units. I'm going to click the material button. I'm going to add a new material, which I'm going to call white. I'm going to go to the diffuse color, and I'm going to put 0.8 across all the values. So the quickest way to do that is to go into HSV and change the value to 0.8. I'm going to go to the texture button, add a new texture, which I'm going to call white. And the settings that I used, I went down to the influence panel and I ticked negative. And in the marble panel, uh, instead of using the sine wave to generate the vein or the saw wave, I used the triangular wave. We can see the marble texture in the preview panel, but obviously we want to see it in our 3D model. Now you can view textures in the 3D view by turning viewport shading to textured but this computer generated texture is not displayed so we're going to have to go to the render button and render the image the check that the camera is pointing at our chest square so I'm going to go to camera view zoom in a little bit and if we click image we see our marble texture I'm going to go back to 3D view and I'm going to change the view to top and I'm going to toggle perspective off. If we go to the properties, we have a, a white square and a black square. I forgot to rename the black square. I'm going to duplicate the black square, Shift and D, and Enter. And I'm going to move the new, uh, the duplicate to position X2, Y2. And I'm going to duplicate the white square, Shift and D, and Enter, and put that at coordinates X2 and Y0. Now I'm going to hold down Shift and select all the squares. I'm going to join them. You should always save before you do a join, and save as a later version after you've done the join. But I'm going to join those and call the joined object chessboard. Holding down shift and using the middle mouse button I'm going to pan that down. We're now ready to apply the array modifier so I'm clicking the modifiers button and I'm going to add modifier array. We've already got an array of two objects and if I increase the count we have three objects and if we increase the count again we have the bottom of our chessboard. 
We have a relative offset of one times the length of the object in the x direction. If I put one for the y direction as well, we get offsets in both x and y. And if I put the x back to zero, or the x to zero, we get just the offset in the y. To finish our chessboard, all we have to do is add another array modifier. And in the new modifier, up the count to four, and there we have our chessboard. I've gone to the world button to set the horizon color to this burgundy color and I also turned environmental lighting on. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished file at my website freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.